that time of year when the sniffles begin. Here to help us determine when we have a cold and when we have the flu, plus how to deal with both, Dr. Marjorie Dixon. <laughs> it's tough to figure it out. Uh, it's probably very clear to you, you're a doctor, but a lot of us will be like, well, I don't know. I'm feeling a little stuffy nose. It might be a flu. That's probably no, not right, no, is it? No, If you have the flu, you feel it. So, you know, the coughing, sniffling, sneezing, feeling a little under the weather, yeah. needing to use tissues and, and not feeling well, that's, mm -hmm. you have a cold. Right. When you have a flu, you know that you have the flu. The flu is caused by a virus, influenza A and B virus, mm -hmm. and it really is not just the sneezing, coughing, sniffling, but you have general aches and pains. Mm -hmm. You feel unwell. You really can't do anything. I've only had the flu once in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you were laid out. I was laid out for three days, and I don't stop right. I'm hyperactive, right? You know that. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 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 And mom, and you like it's just you don't have room, so yes. you manage your symptoms. But that one time, there was nothing that I could do. Yeah. And I did what we learn in medical school. So you have to do lots of fluids, and then you do the things you can do to help you feel better. Okay. As a physician who's in contact with a lot, a lot of people, and I see people who are actually at risk, so immune compromised, older, younger people, it's important for me to get the cornerstone of prevention, which is the flu shot. Yes. We get it every year. Doctors, healthcare providers, people who are working in senior citizen homes in pediatric hospitals have to have it. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't prevent it all the time. That's only 60% of the time. Even if you have the vaccination, you will still get at risk of having the flu. Okay. So now, what can you do to manage the symptoms if they happen, whether you have a cold or the flu, yes. and then also how can you help to prevent it maximally with things that happen. So when I do I get the flu, I rush on over to the Pharmacy Rexall store and I'm like, I know as a physician it's kind of you're treated because you actually know what's in all of the medications and you know what you can use and what there's evidence for in, in the literature. Okay. So one of the things you must do to prevent the spread is wash, wash, wash your hands. My Jamaican so mother was obsessive often. and she was right because you wash and you have to sing happy birthday to you, yes. happy birthday. like a real hand wash. Yes. And if you don't have access to water and soap, then you want to use a hand sanitizer right. option. So hand sanitizer is really great, especially has greater than 50% ethanol, so the alcohol will help kill the viruses. And what happens in the spread is that people will sneeze into their hands. Don't sneeze into your hands, mm -mm. sneeze into your sneeze. Sneeze into a tissue. So that's where you have tissues yes. because you want to be able to get rid, put it in the garbage, then go wash, wash, wash your hands or use your hand sanitizer. Right. If you're thinking about immunity and boosting your immunity, so preventing you from actually getting it if you are exposed, Vitamin C, so there have been a lot of studies looking at vitamin C and cold and people thinking you take vitamin C, it prevents the flu. It does not prevent cold and flu. What it does do is it reduces the exacerbation of illness if you do get sick. Oh. So that's why it's important to keep your immune system in a happy place. Vitamin C supplementation is a good one. And you can get that from tablets, you can get that from juices, you can yeah. get that from actual fruits. Fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it won't, it's not gonna prevent it, but you're not, maybe you're not gonna fall as hard. Exactly. Because you've been boosted with that. Because you're boosted your immune system and actually now there's been years and years of literature there was a giant meta-analysis so me in the medical literature you need a doctor to kind of look at what the quality of the study was and what came out of it and actually that's what's come out of it so it doesn't prevent you know. but it shortens the duration just as would the the vaccine so when yes. we talk about what it does it doesn't it will help you manage if you do get sick mm -hmm. and shortening the exacerbation of good it. okay because we got to get back to work uh, right right you're just yeah. trying to get back to life so that's, it's good that's that it'll make it shorter moment, you never get sick don't yeah, you want to stay much home? To do, honey. I'm like, wait, baby, when you're mama, you there's too much to do. Yeah. Um, so then, furthermore, then you comb the aisles and you're looking for things to manage. So what are the symptoms? When I said you feel like aches and pains, yeah. if you have fever that's associated with it, if you have a really high fever, that's generally the flu. Mm -hmm. That you want to take an acetaminophen or a Tylenol-based um, product, product, acetaminophen, mm -hmm. or ibuprofen as well. Um, those things you can also get just at the pharmacy in and of themselves. But then, if you also have stuffy nose, you get take an antihistamine. Or the antihistamine also can have a somnolent effect. So in the nighttime, whether yeah. it's liquid or the nighttime effervescence or nighttime tablets, those have an additional somnolence effect. Is so that makes you sleep? It makes it helps you. So if you're coughing, sneezing, ugh, and yes. you're trying to sleep at night because you want to get your rest, that will help you. So that's what the nighttime formulation, so you mm -hmm. go to the pharmacy, what is in this nighttime formulation? So it also has a combination. So you can buy the things individually, mm -hmm. you can buy them 
as liquids. You can buy them as capsules. You can buy them mixed into morning and evening so you don't have the somnolence. So if you're trying to go to work, you're not snoozing. You don't want the sleepy right? one. <laughs> you don't yeah. want the sleepy one. If you have a really bad cold, there's also vapo. Yes. So you can put it on your chest. That really, it has the camphor and eucalyptus all the, again, Opens Jamaican it mother. It, op it helps you feel like cough suppressing. Yes. The vapors also tend to kind of help with the decongesting a little bit. 100, so, yeah. But don't ingest it. Sometimes patients tell me I took a spoon of it. Do not. It's not made to be ingested. Oh, no. No. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just, just heard topical. it. I would have not it on. topical on the outside. Yes. And then a another one is if you are stuffy and you have mucus in your nasal passages, a real nice saline rinse. So you actually yes. hold a nostril. You... Um, Inhale it, and it helps to loosen up the mucus. Some people like it. Some people like it. Feel, people feel love like it. Dying. That use it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, tissue. Wash your hands. Hand sanitizer. So that's what you want. Tons, to do. tons, yeah. and tons and tons. Really quickly before yes. we go, I just want to separate the myth from the fact here. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'm going to give you a statement. You tell me if it's a myth and correct me if I'm wrong. You can catch the flu from the vaccine. People assume that because they got sick after getting the vaccine, the shot caused it. Is this true? Is <clears throat> it? Wrong. It's not. People say it all the time. It's inactivated. It's an active vaccine. Dead, dead, dead. So it's a dead. Yes. You're, like so, so what you're, you're not your getting an active you're, flu. You're not. If you get the flu yeah. after having the flu shot, mm -hmm. then that means that you were already exposed to the virus and you were about to get sick. Right. Okay. It was already coming for you. So getting the flu, <laughs> it was coming for you. Getting the flu vaccination is all you need to protect yourself from the flu. Is that myth or fact? Fact. Not. Not a fact. <laughs> It's okay. a myth because, yes, as I said, 60% of the time, but if you do, you want to boost your immune system, you want to prevent the spread, you want to wash your head. So those are yes. all, it's a combination, an amalgam. Uh, okay, all right. One other thing, you can't spread the flu if you're feeling well. That is a myth. Giant myth. So 20 to 30% of people walking yeah. around healthy yeah. actually carry the virus. <gasps> it could Stay be away from me. Yeah, and there's no way you would know. You would not know. So take precautions. And if yeah. you do get sick, manage your symptoms and hopefully right. you can get back to work. To help